Yeah, satisfied after a short turnaround. Sunday to Friday, they're always they're always quite tough games to um, <clears throat> find that little bit of extra energy. But we did tonight. The uh, you know, the way we prepared this week's probably been a uh, big influence to it. The, uh, the we come over uh, Monday morning and got the travel out of the way and had a bit of a chance to uh, get over the the tough game last week and um, re-energise a little bit and. You know, they, they, they really did a good job in preparing um, themselves individually and as a group, so that's, that helped today. What do you think was <clears throat> from the start? Um, I think there was little aspects of play that we were very, uh, very strong in, stuff that we uh, talked about and prepared for, and then when we seen the conditions tonight, you know, we had a little bit of a, a plan in place and they... Uh, we're very diligent and disciplined towards uh, um, executing it. <coughs> Sorry, mate. Oh, well, you have to. Um, he's such a um, such a wonderful player, and their back uh, is three or four of their back five that um, can be quite damaging. So if you if you're um, not chasing your kick and um, presenting a the line there, it's, they can really cut you up. You've only got to see recent weeks how, uh, or re, you know, um, you've only got to look at their stats to know how big their, their plays from the backfield are. Would you say that you've been the of the season, the team's Ours? Um, I think that's sort of... Uh, that sort of scoreline probably um, um, promotes that, but um, you know, we've been we've been pretty consistent all season, and I've got to credit the players for it because um, they're buying in and they're uh, preparing well. So, uh, um, and it's we're coming down to a really important part of the season where we've got to keep doing that. What do you say to a team when you? <coughs> It was really, uh, it's, it's a good question. It's, um, it was really important for us to stay professional and disciplined to what was working for us in the first half. So, um, um, sometimes you get to that top of score line and you can tend to go off task and want to throw the ball around more and go off the plan, but they were um, um, they were really disciplined towards staying on what was working for us and sometimes it's very hard as I say when it's you leading by that at half time but I was really that was probably the most pleasing aspect we stayed on stayed on task to what was good going good. <clears throat> What's galvanised this group is uh, handling all those tough periods over the last two years. That's galvanised the group. Um, I, I, I find some happiness in uh, seeing the boys upbeat about winning. You know, that's, that's what I like to see, but uh, I've said it before. Um, all those close losses and uh, the criticism we got over the last two years would have broke a lot of people and a lot of teams, but uh, that's what's galvanised us. It's been a uh, the preparation's been very low key. We um, haven't had uh, much intensity about it until the back end of the week, and that was a plan. We we needed to uh, mentally and physically uh, re-energise. So that was the plan for our from a coaching point of view. You know, sitting down and talking to coaches at the start of the week. That was our plan to um, <clears throat> forget about footy for a little while and. Re-energised is about getting to the sideline in best shape, not so much uh, what we did on the training field. How important was Josh Watson tonight in those early exchanges in particular? Yeah, he's... Um, he... Um, <clears throat> playing his 100th game was a special milestone and uh, I think that the... Uh, um, the boys showed... You know, showed people here watching the game tonight and all our fans back home um, the respect we have for him. You know, they, uh, 
we want to do it for ourselves, but we also, on a milestone like that, we uh, want to make it uh, special for the person who's achieving it, and, and they respect Hodjo. He's got amazing, he's got a wonderful amount of respect around the club, and he's earned that. And the boys love him, and they did that for him tonight. And I'm, you know, that that pleases me uh, to no end. Do you think there's a better hooker in the game? <clears throat> um, I'm happy with him. Put it that way. I wouldn't swap him for any other hooker. And how's the height? Back in Canberra, is it building? Is there talk of a, a new green machine? No, I don't know. I, I, it's certainly one thing I don't listen to. I don't listen to the criticism, so I won't be listening to the uh, uh, the positive uh, or the constructive uh, talk. It's, it's about just keeping your head down. You can, <clears throat> as much as uh, you know, we, we'll enjoy this win. We'll get back down to work on Monday. Um, we still haven't achieved anything this year. Oh yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not one to deadpan a win. You know, um, the boys love a beer tonight and enjoy it. You know, it's uh, you got to you got to learn how to enjoy wins too. That's what you play for. You know, the, the, this, this type of feeling now is, is what what you um, work so hard for. So you know, I, I'm certainly not a coach to deadpan that and want to. Pretend I'm not excited. I certainly am. I'm very excited for for the players, but um, I don't listen to the hype, you know, because you know I'm, I've been on the receiving end too many times to uh, to know that there's too many people out there ready to whack you. So <clears throat> um, inside the camp in the inner sanctum, we're all very excited and we're very happy with how we're going. But we'll come out and we'll just start working hard again on Monday and um, have a look at what's next. Do you have a top two finishing your side, Trevor? Big one. Do you have a top two finishing your side? No, well, honestly, to be, to answer that question honestly, I just worry about winning the next game. I can't, I can't, um, I can't control the outcome. What can I do? Well, what I can do now is control our preparation going into next week. It's been my attitude all season, um, and it'll be the same for the next. What have we got? Five or six games left. So. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Chance, chances, chances. Transition across from the Warriors at the start of the year. He didn't have a, uh, a long off season with us, um, and he, you know, his professionalism and his attention to detail um, has probably got him the quality of football he's playing at the moment. He's got a he's got a good good football team around him, and they're helping him. And I must admit that uh, he's really helping us. He's having a, uh, a wonderful season. <coughs> no, no, I don't. I know where my squad's at. I don't need any any games in front of us or behind us to show me where my squad's at. I know exactly where we're at, and I know where we can get to. I don't think so. No, like every footy team. There's a few bumps and bruises, and um, <clears throat> um, but no one came off with injuries tonight, which is which is a good one. All good. Thank you. Ta.